Hi everybody, Jimmy DeYoung and welcome to Prophecy Today video. I did an interview recently with Itamar Marcus, talked about the violence that has taken place in Jerusalem surrounding the Temple Mount when the Jewish people were endeavoring to try to celebrate their Feast of Tabernacles. It's an interesting focus of what's been going on. Itamar, was this pre-planned or spontaneous? There are two stages to every kind of attack, every kind of violence. And the first stage of planning involves creating the hatred, creating motivation for violence. This incredible libel that Israel is planning to destroy the Al-Aqsa Mosque. Israel is not planning on touching the Al-Aqsa Mosque. Israel allows free worship to the Al-Aqsa Mosque for any Muslims who want to go there. But you're a Muslim, and you live near Jerusalem, and you find this place to be holy. So you're hearing it from the chief for religious justice. Well, then, of course, you're going to hate the Israelis who have to defend the Al-Aqsa Mosque. So this has been going on for years. So the, the motivation for this violence in something that the Palestinians authority has been planning for years. And then, yes, in fact, in the last few weeks, whenever were the last days, whenever they decided that they wanted the violence, they, in fact, brought in the weapons and the stones and the rock, whatever was necessary, to uh, create this, uh, this violence. Itamar Marcus, he is the head of Palestinian Media Watch. So many people trying to bring peace or resolution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. It is not going to happen until Jesus Christ comes back. This conflict actually started in the book of Genesis, chapter 25, with the twin brothers Esau and Jacob being born to Isaac and Rebekah. Jacob became visual of the Jewish people today. And if you trace Esau from Genesis chapter 25, you can trace his descendants all the way to the Palestinian people today. This conflict, according to the book of Malachi chapter 1, Obadiah, the little book in the prophecy in the 17 prophetic books in the Old Testament, Jeremiah chapter 49, and Ezekiel chapter 35, all tell us that this conflict will continue. It will have a focus on the Temple Mount in the city of Jerusalem. Zechariah, the ancient the Jewish prophet said in chapter 12, verses 2 and 3, that the Temple Mount will be the center of controversy, a heavy, burdensome stone too heavy to pick up. That's what Itamar Marcus reported to us is actually happening in the day in which we're living. Evidence that we're quickly approaching the time when these prophecies will be fulfilled. But I must remind you, the rapture happens before these prophecies. If the stage is set, all the actors are in place and the curtain's about to go up, that indicates to me the rapture could happen at any moment. Having said that, nothing left for me to say, except let's keep looking up until...